in California, sir, if I work. I used to work on a morning. Then in the afternoon it got very hot and sunny, so I'd go and lie on the beach. And then I'd work again in the evening. And I'd maybe work until about 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock. Then I'd go for a drink, you see. And in California the bars don't close until 2. Which seems to me, in a way, the ideal hour. If you're going to close them at all, it's the ideal hour. Because in a way it's not too late. And you can make up your mind about things, I suppose. You say at 2 o'clock. 4 o'clock is a bit late, really. But anyway, you can do it. You, see, you know, work. I seem to work in the evening and do that. In London, you can't do this. Because if you want to go out for a drink, unless you go to those awful uh, places that are my pet hates, really. What's that place called? I've been once. Uh, it looks like a, a rhythm and blues Angus steakhouse. It's got tartan on the walls. But the, the bills seem to be, uh, it, you know, it costs, each drink seems to cost about a pound or something. It's just ridiculous. I just object to paying a pound for one drink in a place like that anyway. It's not a pro In fact, the chairs are so small, it's like a, a, an organised children's tea party. And that's why London, I don't think, will ever really be a, 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 what you'd call a swinging place. You see, it's nightlife in London. You need too much money uh, for it. And because of that, you can't go in any place and meet a plumber from Camberwell. Whereas in New York, you could. I mean, you could go in a bar and meet the equivalents of a plumber from Brooklyn could be sat at the next stool. And some other guy you know, a, a movie maker from Hollywood could be sat on the, the, on the next stool. I mean, it just, that can happen here, it just doesn't. The, the nightlife, which some people really think is, is terrific. I mean, obviously somebody's really sold the idea, haven't they? What's that? Did I tell you my story? I'll tell you my story. Do you know Eric Bird? Yeah. The animals. Well, it was on, a, I think it was on a television program. I told you a story today. Of, uh, now, I mean, uh, he's a, a musician in London, isn't he? Um, and he, we were talking about America, as a fact. He said he didn't like it really at all. And he gave, he told me this story as a story against America. And he said he was in uh, New York and, um, he was with a policeman, you see, a cop. I suppose it's a bit different from his singer and he thought people might attack him or something. But anyway, they went in this bar and there was music playing, you see. There was a jukebox. And the cop said to the guy behind the bar, can you dance in here? And I said, sure. So he hung up his gun and started dancing with a girl, you see. And Eric Burden said, this was terrible. He said, that cop is the sort of cop who'd take a backhand and, you know, money and this, that, and that. And he thought it was terrible. Well, I thought it sounded marvellous. I mean, really, it's kind of like an ideal for a musician. I said it simply proved there more art lovers there. He was affected by the music when he went in the bar. And the idea of him hanging up a gun, I thought was terrific. But he thought it was terrible. Well, I suppose, I mean... In a way, maybe lots of other people in London would think that situation was terrible. If he did, would they? But it's, it's hardly the story you'd say to run down America, is it? I wouldn't think so. I, if it had happened to me, if it happened to me, I would be always telling it, saying what a great place it was. You know, the whole idea of the mini situation. Mini cars and uh, mini skirts. I can't say too much about the skirts because I don't know much about that, but uh, there's more room in a mini car than there is in a Cadillac, which seems impossible. I don't know if that holds true of the skirts or not, but at least they wear them with total abandon, you know, which is nice. I mean, they're not always kind of pulling them down. They say, that's how short it is, and I can make it shorter. And I say, good, good, that's a freedom. Because I don't think the girls really vary that much. 
and physical appearance. So it's a good, healthy break away from everything that was, you know, stolid and stoic and stayed. So I enjoy it. <laughs>